Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing a box sent to me by Influencer, and it's featuring three items from Olay Henriksen's Balance Skincare line. And the first one up is this Find Your Balance Oil Control Cleanser. So for five ounces, it's $25, and I believe they do offer a two ounce uh, for $10. So it's a very affordable cleanser, and it has this great bright green packaging, which I love. Green is my favorite color, so I was automatically <laughs> attracted to this packaging. Um, as far as it, the ingredients, it does contain glycolic and lactic acids, which I am a huge fan of, but none of my cleansers that I currently use contain these. Um, my only concern about this is that when I use lactic or glycolic acids, you're supposed to leave them on your skin to penetrate the skin to help exfoliate. So I don't know if this being in a wash is going to be in any way productive of, you know, ridding the dead skin cells off of the face, or if it is, if it's doing too much to your skin if you already have something like AJ's or BJ in your routine. Um, so that's the only thing I find a little concerning, but nevertheless, this um, cleanser worked really well for me. Uh, a little pea-sized amount covered my whole face. It's like a gel opalescent looking product. Um, and again, it left my skin feeling refreshing and that's probably due to the peppermint that is in here. So if you um, have sensitive skin or acne prone skin, be aware that there is menthol in here. So it may um, give you a flare up. I know sometimes when I use products like that, it tends to irritate my skin, but this did not. Um, so I will be repurchasing this, repurchasing this item because I really liked how it made my skin feel. It cleaned it. Um, I did use this in a two-step cleanse. So the first time I cleansed my skin, I either did it with an oil-based cleanser or I used a milky base cleanser and then I did this second cleanse with this and it worked really well. So I highly recommend this cleanser um, and it's probably a second favorite from this line. The second item I received in my box box was this Balancing Force Oil Control Toner and this is 6.5 ounces for $26, which is pretty good for a toner. Um, this toner, like the cleanser, also has AHAs, a lactic and a glycolic acid, but it also contains a BHA, a salicylic acid. Um, BHAs I don't really use unless I have a breakout on my face that I want to kind of control and contain because um, salicylic acid um, kind of makes my face dry so I don't like to use it that much but this contains both of them um, and I really love this product this is my favorite out of the line I love acids I do a glycolic or a lactic acid um, every morning and every night sometimes you know I'll mix them up depending on my skincare needs so I use this in place of some of the acids that I was using and I really liked it I can't tell you how cool it was to see um, I had a white head develop on my face and I put this on half of the facial cotton and I put it on and I literally seen the white head disappear with this toner it was it was pretty cool if you like pore strips you'll you'll like that but um, this is an awesome toner for the price I think it's a great value how many ounces you're going to get this is going to last me a long time I've been using this every day and it still looks like it's at the top which is amazing to me and it has a great scent so I highly recommend this um, it's a great exfoliant but it also is I mean I have sensitive skin and dry skin um a little combo I guess I can say <laughs> so I think this would work well for anyone especially if you're just getting into toners um, I think this would be very helpful for your skin so highly recommend this product the last item re I received is the most expensive. It retails for $34 for 1.7 ounces, and it's their Counterbalance Oil Control Hydrator. Now, like I said, I do get dry patches around my face, so I have a plethora of moisturizers, creams, hydrators, sprays, you name it. I probably have it because I hate having dry skin. I hate having dry patches on my face. It really affects how I apply my makeup. So I was very excited to try this product. Um, I will say that it is a very light formulation and again I used a pea-sized ounce on this and it covered my whole face. 
The thing with this is, is that my face soaked it up immediately, um, and it did have that cooling sensation, which all of the products do, but I did have to reapply moisturizer throughout the day, which I do not like to do. Um, especially if I'm wearing makeup, I'll end up having to use a spray to get some sort of hydration. So that was very disappointing to me. Also, I don't like the price point on this. I have other moisturizers that work just as well, if not even better than this, and I get more product out of it. So even though it probably will last you a while, if you have dry skin or combination skin, I wouldn't recommend this to you. Um, I would use this like if I was running out of the house real quick or if I'm gonna go on a workout I would put this on because it is not oily it's not greasy it's gonna soak up right away um, it does not have SPF so if you you know you're sensitive to that it doesn't contain that but also there are big claims that this product does say it does and it says that it you know uh, helps the appearance of pores an acne prone skin I don't think this moisturizer did that this moisturizer also contains um, rosehip and AHAs which rosehip I love rosehip oil it's very moisturizing um, and AHAs again like I said the exfoliating properties in there but to me it didn't really do that for me if I'm gonna use an AHA I'm just gonna use a straight acid to exfoliate my face so again there are some claims to this product that it you know they say it does and I don't think it does all those things but if you're looking for a very very lightweight um, moisturizer that you just want to slap on real quick this would be it but other than that I don't see myself purchasing this product so overall my experience with these products were pretty positive I learned a lot about different ingredients how they affect your skin I found a big treasure of mine in the toner um, and cleanser I'm very excited about continuing the use of those so I highly recommend those two products and again if you want a very lightweight moisturizer you can hit up the hydrator for that um, but if you are interested in seeing more reviews of products that I try out uh, please subscribe to this channel and like this video I hope to see you guys at my next video thanks